Right then, I'm going to be uh, repasting uh, this graphics card here. The graphics card I'm going to be repasting is my HD 6950. Um, it's just got dual heat pipes. It was getting just above 80 degrees earlier. Uh, um, it's maximum overclock. I'm going to be using some uh, thermal grizzly crinot thermal paste on it. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. Well, the heat sink of this GPU is only held on by just four screws, so it should just uh, separate nicely now. Let's see. There we go. That is the PCB of a VTX 6950. You can see here, this is the VRM. Looks like a, a four phase power design there. Quite simple. I think this is a reference PCB. You can see the memory chips around the GPU there. They're actually upside down. I'll turn it the right way up for you so you can see there. Hynex chips. Nope, that's now upside down. Two, that one there is the... Oh, yeah, two of them are the right way around. That one and that one. And those two are the wrong way around now. I suppose that was quite pointless. You can see it's got a uh, dual 6 plus 6 pin power connectors. There's the GPU, I'm just going to clean off. You can see it's a little bit reflective. The spread on this is actually pretty good. By the looks of it, there's a thermal pad on the bottom of the heatsink for only four of the memory modules. You can see the heatsink's uh, fins there. It's quite a thin heatsink, I have to say. There's not much weight to it at all. It is missing a couple of heat pipes on the 79, not 79, 6950 compared to the 6970 as you can see there. They've literally just left holes for them, which I find quite amusing. There's two copper heat pipes, a nice copper base. You can see they've put a fair bit um, of extra thermal paste on there, flipping heck. Um, but a nice copper base and this round here is aluminium I presume. So that's the shroud and the heat sink. Not too bad. There you go. You can see my lovely reflection. <laughs> you can see in the camera somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is. My one plus one. Yep. Lovely and shiny now. I'll do the same thing with the heat sink as well. pretty clean now as you can see. Here's the thermal paste, thermal grizzly crinot, good stuff. Use it on a lot of my CPUs. Haven't used it on any GPUs though yet.
That's not worked very well at all. I think I'm actually just going to uh, put a dot in the middle. Might be easier. And hope for the best. <laughs> we'll see how it spreads with the uh, just the pressure from the heat sink. I think. So that's uh, it for this part of the video, I'll uh, probably do an update on how the temps are, um, I might clean the heatsink out as well, we'll have to see. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching for now, and uh, hopefully the next time you see this it will be uh, updated with the updated temperatures.